Hello and welcome. In this video, we will explain how you can automate the creation of reports. On this sheet, you find an overview of all sales in our store. You see the employee that made the sale, the product that was sold, the quantity and the date of sale. At each month's end, we are interested to have an overview of sales per product. So to obtain this, we will automate this process of filtering on each product and extracting the corresponding data to a separate report. This can be done by making use of Excel VBA. To open VBA, you navigate to Developer and select Visual Basic. If the Developer tab isn't part of the ribbon, we first have to include this. To do so, you can navigate to File, Options, and Customize Ribbon, or you just move your arrow to the ribbon, right-click and select Customize the Ribbon. On the right side, you can check the box next to developer to make this tab appear in the ribbon. So we check the box and press OK. The developer tab is part of the ribbon now. So we select it and next click on Visual Basic. Now the VBA code opens. We have already prepared a code called Create Product Reports. Remark that we have written this code into a module. To open a new one, you navigate to Insert and select Module. Here you can start typing your code. Now we go through the code to show what happens when we run this macro. At the start of your VBA code, it's always useful to type options explicit. This forces you to declare all your variables and prevents you from making mistakes. Next we define the output folder for our reports. Now we are ready to go through the actual function. At the start we initialize all variables that we use. First we consider the sheet that contains our data. Then we have a variable that tracks the final row of our data. Next we have a variable that tracks the final row for each list of the same products. Using unique product list, we consider all unique products in our data and we will use the variable product to loop through this list. Next we use the variable book to create new Excel files in which we paste the date per product. Finally, the variable row number is used to go through all rows in the data and extract all unique product names. Now that all variables are initialized, we start with the creation of the reports. We first set sheet equal to sheet 1 containing all our data. Next we indicate that we will work with this sheet. We set final row equal to the last row that contains data by counting the number of rows in column A. If we only have one line of data, there is only one product type on the sheet, so we don't have to create separate reports. In that case, we can just exit the function because nothing has to happen. In the next lines, we will create a list of all unique products. We first create a new collection and then loop through all products in column B and add all unique values. We have added on error resume next to make sure that we don't get an error message when a product is identified that is already part of the collection. By using on error resume next, we ignore this message and go on with adding the unique products. In the next part of the code, we filter data on product type and copy paste the data to a new Excel file. To do that, we loop through the unique product list. We select the entire range of data in column A to D, filter on column B on each product and copy this data. Next we create a new workbook and paste the data in there. When you have pasted this data, it's also possible to add whatever you like in this new workbook. Here we also add the total number of products per type. To do this, we sum all quantities in column C and put this number at the end of this column. Finally, we save the workbook and close it. To show how the macro works, we open the output folder and run the code. As you can see, all product reports are created. Let's open one and see if it appears as we want it. We take back our initial workbook with all data and filter on product 1. All data corresponding to this product is indeed copy-pasted to the product file and at the end of column C we have the sum of all quantities as was the purpose. This concludes our tutorial on reporting automation using Excel VBA. 
If you have any questions or comments, let me know. Be sure to subscribe if you want to watch more Excel or software-related tutorials. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.